The story begins with a good-looking and wealthy young guy named Han Dong Lai. Even though he couldn't walk for six years, he still had this special charm that everyone liked. In another part of the city, there was a mom who had just come to Shanghai with her son named Kilo. When they got there, the boy recognized Dong Lai from the TV. He thought Dong Lai looked a lot like the man in his mom's drawing book, who he believed was his dad. The mom, Zhang Ling, was really surprised to hear this. She told her son not to talk about it anymore because the handsome man on TV wasn't his father. When Zhang Ling went to get a drink for her Kilo, but when she came back, Kilo wasn't there anymore. It turned out he was playing with balloons and ended up meeting Dong Lai by accident. Kilo thought Dong Lai looked a lot like his dad. Kilo tried to hug him, thinking he was his father, and he asked to go with Dong Lai because he forgot where his mom was. Dong Lai was in a hurry for a meeting, but he couldn't leave the little boy alone, so he asked Kilo to come along. In the card, Dong Lai felt a bit awkward. He saw that Kilo really wanted to get close to him, but because he couldn't walk well, he kept a little distance. After checking Keela's bag and finding an ID card, Dong Lei had his assistant Mu Chen call Keela's mom to come to his office and pick him up. Zhang Ling had been worried, looking for Keela. She felt better when she got a call from Dong Lei's assistant. But she was surprised to learn that Keela was at the office of Dong Xingru, which belongs to Dong Lei's family. In another place, Keela was super happy looking at Dong Lei and calling him father. But Dong Lai told Keela to stop saying that because he wasn't really his dad. Just then, Zhang Ling arrived to pick up Kila. She felt so relieved to find Kila again. Kila told his mom that he found a husband for her and pointed at Dong Lai, calling him father. That's when Zhang Ling and Dong Lai met after being apart for six years. Dong Lai's assistant, who knew Zhang Ling well, seemed surprised to see her. He asked Kila to go play so he could talk to Zhang Ling alone. Dong Lai wanted to know how Zhang Ling had been in the past six years. He blamed her for leaving him saying it was because he was paralyzed. He even made fun of Zhang Ling for being happy all these years because she didn't have to take care of someone with a disability like him. When Zhang Ling saw Dong Lai still unable to walk, she felt really sorry. She asked why he was still in a wheelchair when Lin Xia had promised to help him if he left. But Dong Lei, who was still upset, didn't listen to Zhang Ling. She tried to apologize by kneeling down, but that just made Dong Lai angrier, and he was mean to her. He wanted to know why Zhang Ling came back with a little kid. She explained that Kila was sick and needed treatment in the city. Dong Lai asked who Kila's real dad was. Zhang Ling said she would leave once Kila's treatment was done, and she chose not to talk about Kila's dad. This made Dong Lai really emotional, and he got even more upset, acting aggressively towards Zhang Ling. Let's look back about six years when Dong Lai and Zhang Ling were in love. They went to the mountains, but someone trapped Zhang Ling in a house. While seeking shelter there, Dong Lai rescued Zhang Ling from the lock house. But as they were leaving, a huge rock fell, hurting Dong Lei's leg while he was protecting Zhang Ling. That accident left Dong Lai paralyzed. At that time, Lin Xia, who was the hospital owner's daughter, promised to treat Dong Lai if Zhang Ling left him. Zhang Ling made the difficult choice to leave, hoping Dong Lai would recover. It broke Dong Lei's heart, but Zhang Ling believed healing him was more important despite her pain. Now, back in the present, Lin Xia arrived at Dong Lei's office. Mu Chen and Kilo were there too. Kilo didn't like Lin Xia, sensing something off about her. Lin Xia entered Dong Lei's room and was surprised to see him hugging a woman, who turned out to be Zhang Ling. Dong Lei decided not to let Kilo go until Zhang Ling showed Kili's birth certificate to him. Zhang Ling pleaded with Dong Lei to take Kilo with him because Kilo needed to go to the hospital today. Dong Lei decided to test Zhang Ling and told her to do something if she wanted Kila back. Zhang Ling reluctantly followed when he asked her to do something uncomfortable. But then, Mu Chen rushed in, holding a fainted Kila in his arms. Dong Lai told his assistant to hurry and take Kila to the hospital. He felt bad when he learned Kila had diabetes since birth. Later, Dong Lei's mom and Lin Xia showed up. His mom slapped Zhang Ling and accused her of using Kila to get money from Dong Lai. This time, Zhang Ling didn't stay quiet. She stood up to Dong Lei's mom and firmly told her not to insult her and her son. She also warned that she wouldn't stay silent if someone bothered her and Ki Lei. Then a good-looking guy hurried over when he saw Ki Lei's condition. Turned out, this guy was a popular artist known as Chu Mo Dong Lei watched from a distance, seeming a bit jealous of how close Zhang Ling and Chu Mo were. Dong Lei, seeing Chu Mo's genuine concern for Ki Lei, 
asked Zhang Ling if Chu Mo was Qili's dad. But Zhang Ling didn't reveal who Qili's real dad was. On the other side, Qili was a brave kid. He handled insulin injections like a champ, something he did regularly. Qili and Chu Mo seemed to get along really well, acting like true brothers. Chu Mo cheered up Zhang Ling, who was worried about her son. He shared the exciting news that Zhang Ling's book got picked to be turned into a movie, and Chu Mo himself would star in it. Zhang Ling was happy but puzzled too, as the book was about her past with Dong Lai. Then a guy with red hair secretly took photos of Chu Mo and Zhang Ling being close. The next day, Dong Lei's assistant told him about Chu Mo's background. Chu Mo's name was getting popular, but his parents were a mystery. Dong Lai asked the assistant to dig deeper into the connection between Zhang Ling and Chu Mo. Somewhere else, the red-haired man secretly met Lin Xia to give her the photos he took of Chu Mo and Zhang Ling. Turns out, he used to be Lin Xia's assistant. The next day, Zhang Ling went to the office to work on a book that the company would turn into a movie. Dong Lai was the director financing the film. Dong Lai was still curious about Zhang Ling's relationship with Chu Mo. Zhang Ling explained that he came to the city only for Kila's treatment and didn't care what Dong Lai thought. But then, Dong Lai asked Zhang Ling to come back to him. Zhang Ling was confused, but he made it clear he wanted nothing to do with the Han family anymore and they should forget their past from six years ago. Dong Lai believed Zhang Ling left him because he was disabled back then, so he now preferred younger men who could satisfy Zhang Ling. This upset Zhang Ling and he slapped Dong Lai. In response, Dong Lai pulled Zhang Ling onto his lap, threatening Chu Mo and Kila. He wanted to know if Chu Mo was Kila's real dad and if Zhang Ling left because of another man's love. Zhang Ling could only cry and let Dong Lai speak, feeling helpless. Eventually, Dong Lai felt guilty and ashamed, so he told Zhang Ling to leave. Somewhere else, Chu Mo and his manager talk about the rumors about Chu Mo and Zhang Ling getting close. They're worried about how Zhang Ling is being affected by these rumors. Chu Mo goes to find Zhang Ling and tells him about the rumors. He asks Zhang Ling not to worry and to skip the hospital today because there are reporters waiting there. In another place, Lin Chia purposely meets Dong Lai to spread rumors about Zhang Ling and Chu Mo's closeness. Lin Nexia tries to make Dong Lai dislike Zhang Ling even more by saying Zhang Ling is good at flirting with young men. Meanwhile, as Zhang Ling arrives at his current place, Chu Mo remembers their memories from six years ago. He also misses his grandmother, who took care of him when he was little. Let's look back to when Zhang Ling first met Chu Mo. Zhang Ling saved Chu Mo from some guys who were bothering him. But then, Zhang Ling fainted while looking for his necklace. Chu Mo took him to the hospital, where they found out Zhang Ling was pregnant and in a weak condition. Chu Mo's grandmother took care of Zhang Ling from then on, and that's why Zhang Ling sees Chu Mo as a little brother. Now, back to the present. Zhang Ling felt uneasy with the nosy landlord asking about his relationship with Chu Mo. The next day, Dong Lei's assistants scolded Chu Mo due to rumors about having a child. Chu Mo's manager suggested shifting the media focus onto Zhang Ling and the child while Chu Mo would deny any connection to Zhang Ling and Kila. But Chu Mo strongly refused because he didn't want to put Zhang Ling at risk for his own safety. So Chu Mo wanted to stop the rumors and keep Zhang Ling safe. He asked Zhang Ling to join in at a press conference. There they'd say that Chu Mo is in a movie written by Zhang Ling. They thought this would clear up the rumors. The press conference started well, but then some media people made things worse. They even brought up Zhang Ling's child and said Chu Mo didn't want anything to do with them. Then, Dong Lai showed up at the press conference. He said he wouldn't take back the money he invested in Chu Mo's new film. He threatened to sue any media spreading lies about Chu Mo and Zhang Ling. Lin Xia, who was there too, looked upset because Dong Lei was defending Zhang Ling now. After the press conference, Zhang Ling caught up with Dong Lai to thank him. But Dong Lai said he helped for his company's benefit, not for them. He then playfully asked Zhang Ling to push his wheelchair. In another place, Lin Xia secretly met Kiel at the hospital. Lin Xia got upset because Kiel called Dong Lai handsome daddy. She told Kiel to stop saying that because Dong Lai was going to be her husband in the future. Later on, Zhang Ling went to the hospital. Kiel hugged his mom and said Lin Xia was mean. Zhang Ling asked Kiel to play with friends so he could talk to Lin Xia alone. Zhang Ling just wanted peace and was there for Kiel's treatment. But Lin Xia, driven by jealousy, damaged Keeley's photo and threatened Zhang Ling with Keeley's health. While cleaning up the broken glass, Zhang Ling insisted on cutting ties with the Han family. Lin Xia threatened Keeley again. 
angry, John Ling pointed broken glass at her. John Ling asked about the incident from six years ago, when he got locked in a house. He suspected something wasn't right about the event that left Dong Lai paralyzed. Out of fear, Lin Xia confessed that six years ago, she harmed Zhang Ling to make Dong Lai hers. Zhang Ling let her go, feeling relieved to know the truth. She chose not to tell Dong Lai. Zhang Ling advised Lin Xia that crimes don't stay hidden forever and will be exposed eventually. Outside the room, Kila was playing with Dong Lai. He said he'd leave the hospital tomorrow and asked Dong Lai to pick him up. Zhang Ling arrived to take Kila back to his room. Dong Lai looked worried seeing Zhang Ling's hand wound. Kiel pushed his mom onto Dong Lei's lap, asking him to take her in a wheelchair. Zhang Ling felt bad, thinking he caused Dong Lei's injury. Elsewhere, Lin Xia was getting drunk and almost harassed by her former assistant. It turned out he helped Lin Xia's plan to harm Zhang Ling six years ago. The next day in the afternoon, Kiel was allowed to leave the hospital. He wanted to wait for Dong Lai to pick him up. But Zhang Ling explained that Dong Lai wasn't his dad, so they didn't need to wait. When they got back to the rented house, the landlord treated them badly, even calling Kila sick. Luckily, Dong Lei and his assistant arrived in time to help. The landlord's bad behavior was because someone paid them to kick out Chong Ling. Dong Lai told his assistant to find out who was behind it. Later, when Dong Lei's assistant asked Kila to get the car, Zhang Ling thanked Dong Lai for helping. Dong Lai said he did it to protect Kila. Even though he might not be the dad, maybe Chu Mo is. Zhang Ling got annoyed, saying Chu Mo wasn't Kila's real dad and it wasn't about Dong Lai. Dong Lai got annoyed too, feeling Zhang Ling was hiding things just like six years ago. He blamed Zhang Ling for Kila's problems, thinking he shouldn't make the boy's life hard. This made Zhang Ling sad. She said life was good before meeting Dong Lei. When Dong Lei's car arrived, Zhang Ling was going to ask Kila to move away. But Kila wanted to ride in the nice car because it felt cozy. During the ride, Kila tried to bring Dong Lai and Zhang Ling closer, making him feel like they were a family. Later, Dong Lai told Zhang Ling to live in his private apartment. Zhang Ling refused, but Dong Lei insisted because he didn't want Kila to live in a bad place. At the apartment, Kila woke up and loved the place. He wanted to sleep with both Dong Lei and his mom that night. Despite feeling awkward, Dong Lai and Zhang Ling were happy. Zhang Ling helped Dong Lai with his medicine. Zhang Ling, a widow, felt confused sleeping next to Dong Lei and chose to sleep outside because she felt embarrassed. In the morning, Zhang Ling had a dream that Dong Lei woke up to help Kila use the bathroom. When Zhang Ling knocked on the bathroom door, he got worried as Dong Lei didn't respond. He found Dong Lai unconscious there. Zhang Ling felt sad and sorry, covering him up and apologizing. Mu Chen came to help Dong Lai with a fever. Mu Chen explained that Dong Lei's immunity wasn't fully recovered from the past tragedy six years ago. Zhang Ling cared for Dong Lei while he slept, feeling guilty for his condition. Dong Lei woke up and asked Zhang Ling not to leave. He kissed Zhang Ling, but Mu Chen and Kila suddenly arrived, making things awkward. That morning, Zhang Ling wanted to leave and find a new place, but Kila really liked it there and wanted to stay. Dong Lai was happy about this and said Kila could stay as long as he wanted. Mu Chen asked Zhang Ling to stay to help take care of Dong Lei, who was still weak. He found a school for Kila nearby to make things easier for Zhang Ling. Inside the room, Kila was really happy that his mother would stay. He asked Dong Lei to take care of her, because he worried she'd be lonely when he's gone. Kila knew he might not live much longer. He wasn't scared of dying, just of leaving his mom alone. Dong Lai was amazed by the little boy's caring thoughts. Outside, Zhang Ling listened and cried, scared of losing her son. Kila was glad to meet Dong Lai, thinking he looked like the man in his mom's drawing. So he called Dong Lai his father and Dong Lei didn't mind at all. In another place, Dong Lei's mom wondered why he wasn't coming home. Mu Chen didn't lie and said Zhang Ling was looking after him. Lin Xia got upset and tried to make Dong Lei's mom dislike Zhang Ling more. But Dong Lei's mom wasn't too worried, glad someone was caring for her son. Mu Chen told her it was Dong Lei's idea for Zhang Ling to stay after a landlord issue. Lin Xia later slapped Mu Chen and warned him about herself being Dong Lei's future wife. Lin Xia then went to Dong Lei's apartment and slapped Zhang Ling. This time, Zhang Ling fought back by splashing her with trash. Inside the apartment, Zhang Ling was a bit bothered despite Dong Lei telling him not to mind Lin Xia's words. Zhang Ling thought Lin Xia had a point about them living together, 
so he asked Dong Lei to come back home. Dong Lei seemed disappointed by Zhang Ling's distant behavior and decided to leave. In another place, Dong Lei's mom announced an engagement between Dong Lei and Lin Chia after his upcoming birthday. Lin Chia was thrilled as her dream of marrying Dong Lei was coming true. However, Zhang Ling was taken aback by the news of the engagement. Meanwhile, Kila, missing Dong Lei a lot, secretly called in without Zhang Ling knowing. He asked Dong Lei to visit. Kila reminded Dong Lei of his promise to be his father. Dong Lei assured him he'd come after his last surgery and asked Kila to be good to his mom. Chumo then visited Kila, bringing a gift. He told Zhang Ling to prepare as the filming was about to begin. The next day, during the film script reading, the female lead asked Zhang Ling for help in explaining certain scenes. Zhang Ling assisted in describing the emotions in the script. Surprisingly, Dong Lai became very jealous seeing how close Chu Mo and Zhang Ling were while acting out some romantic scenes. Dong Lai then entered the room and unexpectedly wanted to change the male lead. This puzzled and surprised the director and others. Man Lai, the female lead, who apparently knew Dong Lei's family well, started advising him not to be arrogant. She emphasized that the film was well prepared and even threatened to withdraw if Chu Mo wasn't retained as the male lead. Dong Lei had to listen to Man Li's advice and couldn't do anything about it. Then, Dong Lei asked Zhang Ling to come along with him. He handed her a dress and requested her to put it on. Zhang Ling felt a bit annoyed because Dong Lei hadn't been in touch for a few days. Unbeknownst to her, Dong Lei had been occupied with his final surgery during that time. At first, Zhang Ling felt shy about changing clothes in front of Dong Lei. However, since the car's driver was a woman and Dong Lei himself, who had already seen her body, she tried to remain relaxed. On that night, there was a birthday party for Dong Lei's mother, filled with luxury and exclusivity. Lin Chia was thrilled and eagerly awaited the announcement of her engagement with Dong Lei. However, everyone's attention was drawn to Zhang Ling, who came to the party with Dong Lei. Dong Lei's mother was definitely surprised although she couldn't show it too much on her birthday. Lin Xia's parents seemed disappointed, as if they were uncomfortable with Dong Lai, bringing another woman. Man Lai stepped in and invited Zhang Ling to grab a bite to eat outside. He had a lot of admiration for Zhang Ling and expressed his support for both Zhang Ling and Dong Lai. Later, Lin Xia's parents asked to speak with Zhang Ling privately. They made some sarcastic remarks towards Zhang Ling, but Zhang Ling brushed it off, and the conversation shifted to Dong Lei's surgery from six years ago. It appeared that Lin Xia's parents were unaware of the deal between Lin Xia and Zhang Ling that took place six years ago. Later, while taking a breather outside the party, Zhang Ling spotted Lin Xia having a heated argument with the red-haired man. The memory of that man who had locked her in a cabin six years ago came rushing back. Feeling uneasy, Zhang Ling called Chu Mo for help in keeping an eye on the red-haired man. In different location, Lin Chia and the red-haired man were seen at an upscale nightclub, having drinks together. A tipsy Lin Xia unleashed her frustration on the man. She didn't care if he ended up back in jail for the crimes he committed six years ago. Lin Xia was confident that her involvement hadn't been proven, so fear wasn't part of her equation. Her self-centered attitude irritated the man, and he started to make threats towards her. Unbeknownst to them, Chu Mo was discreetly observing the situation from a distance. Meanwhile, Dong Lei decided to pay a visit to Kiel, since he had been occupied with his recent surgery, though he chose not to mention it to Zhang Ling or Kilo. He brushed it off as work-related business and made it clear that his mother's engagement announcement wasn't his doing. Zhang Ling didn't seem impressed by his explanation and seemed indifferent to his words. Seeking some help from Kilo to mend the situation, Dong Lei asked the boy for assistance. Kilo then retrieved his mother's sketchbook, explaining that whenever she felt down, she drew in it. Dong Lai was taken aback to find numerous sketches of his face in the book. He questioned Zhang Ling about the sketches, but Zhang Ling denied that they were actually of Dong Lai. Hearing this explanation slightly irked Dong Lai, as he felt that Zhang Ling was once again not being honest with him. Dong Lai then declared he would spend the night there, considering it was difficult to go back home after the spat at the birthday celebration. This announcement seemed to discomfort Zhang Ling as it appeared she was more pleased than she was letting on. A few days later during the filming, Dong Lei decided to play tricks on Chu Mo by intentionally adding risky scenes. Since he's also the producer, no one could really argue. However, this didn't sit well with Man Lai, who found Dong Lei's behavior immature and disruptive. Man Lai even advised Chu Mo to create some distance between himself and Zhang Ling, 
as Dong Lei often misinterpreted their closeness. Later, Zhang Ling checked up on Chumo and learned about his investigation into the red-haired man. She cautioned Chumo to take care, considering Gong Lai might continue with his teasing. Zhang Ling appreciated Man Lai's concern for Chumo. But it turned out that Chumo saw Man Lai as a senior who had assisted him in his career, nothing more. On her way home, Dong Lai invited Zhang Ling to accompany him, promising not to alter the script anymore. Meanwhile, Dong Lei's mother paid a visit to Dong Lei's apartment, which thrilled Qi Lo, who saw her as a grandmother figure. She asked about Dong Lei's frequent visits and even gave Qi Le candy. Finding Qi Li's resemblance to a young Dong Lei suspicious due to his age, she was about to inquire further when Zhang Ling and Dong Lei arrived. Qi Le quickly hid the candy to avoid any potential scolding from Zhang Ling. Zhang Ling wasn't pleased with Dong Lei's mother's sudden arrival, as she was deeply concerned about Qi Le's well-being. Her worry escalated when Kila suddenly collapsed, and she noticed the candy in his hand. In a state of panic, she was alarmed by the potential harm. Meanwhile, Dong Lei's mother felt remorseful for not knowing about Kila's diabetes and its restrictions. She turned her frustration towards Dong Lai for not informing her about Kila's condition. Dong Lai fired back, asking why his mother was suddenly concerned when she hadn't shown much care for Kila before. He requested his mother to avoid troubling Zhang Ling further. Dong Lei's mother got even more unsure because her late husband also had diabetes. She also asked who Qi Le's real dad was. But Dong Lei told her not to ask about things that didn't concern him. Still, Dong Lei's mother secretly had her doctor friend test Qi Le's and Dong Lei's DNA to confirm her doubts. Just as she was leaving, she bumped into Lin Chia outside her friend's room. She said he was staying with her friend and didn't want to tell Lin Chia what she was really up to. But Lin Chia was starting to wonder about Dong Lei's mother, who suddenly seemed interested in a hospital lab doctor. The next day, Mu Chen brought some info about Qi Le to Dong Lei's mother. She purposely took some of it, because she didn't want Dong Lei to know everything after Qi Li's DNA results came out. Mu Chen felt he had to listen to Dong Lei's mother, treating her like his own mother. Later on, when he met up with Dong Lei, Mu Chen spilled the beans about Zhang Ling's life after having Qi Le. But he didn't spill the beans about exactly when Kilo was born. Muchen also mentioned that Chumo's grandma used to take care of Zhang Ling, making Chumo and Zhang Ling like siblings. Dong Lai asked Mu Chen to keep digging for info about Kilo and also to check out a mountain accident from six years ago that left him paralyzed. Dong Lai smelled something fishy about the accident. Then Lin Xia rang up Dong Lai, inviting him to dinner to chat about their engagement. That night, Zhang Ling and Chumo had dinner together at a restaurant. Chumo said that the truth about Dong Lai and Qi Le couldn't stay hidden forever. Zhang Ling begged Chumo not to bring it up and to hush it up as much as possible. She felt that Dong Lai and Chumo couldn't see eye to eye because they were on different levels. Chumo planned to head back to his hometown after Qi Li's treatment wrapped up. Zhang Ling also inquired about Lin Xia and the red-haired guy. Chumo spilled that they often hung out at a bar owned by his friend. The guy was an ex-convict which left Xu Mo suspicious about how Lin Kexia could be pals with someone like that. Later on, Dong Lei and Lin Kexia showed up at the restaurant. Dong Lei cheekily asked to sit near Chu Mo and Zhang Ling. This made Zhang Ling puzzled, as Dong Lei kept giving her intense looks that made her uneasy. Eventually, they decided to leave the restaurant. But right then, Dong Lei stopped Zhang Ling from going away. Chu Mo told Dong Lei to let go of Zhang Ling's hand. Dong Lei fired back, telling Chumo to mind his own business regarding Zhang Ling. Dong Lai was pretty irritated because Zhang Ling seemed to be defending Chumo and ignoring him. Chumo made it clear that he'd always protect Zhang Ling and wouldn't let anyone mess with her, including Dong Lai. He mocked Dong Lai for being paralyzed and unable to do anything for Zhang Ling. But out of the blue, Dong Lai stood up tall and declared that his recent surgery went well and he's now cured. Chumo sarcastically applauded Dong Lei's acting about being paralyzed all this time. Zhang Ling felt deceived by Dong Lei and left the restaurant, feeling disappointed. The next day, Lin Chia accidentally walked into the office of Dong Lei's mother's friend who's a doctor. Lin Xia kindly offered to help get the lab results for Dong Lei's mother. After reading the DNA results, Lin Chia got super upset and tore up the paper because she found out that Dong Lei was actually Kila's dad. Later that evening, Zhang Ling and Dong Lai both wished they could text each other first, but they let their pride get in the way, and in the end, neither of them sent a message. Then, on the following day, 
Dong Lei's mother showed Kiel the DNA test results, and she told Dong Lai not to support Kiel and Zhang Ling. She said Kiel wasn't a part of their family. Dong Lai looked irritated and asked his mother to back off. He made it clear that he didn't agree with being paired up with Lin Dixia either. Then, Dong Lai headed to the shooting location to meet up with Zhang Ling. Man Lai was totally surprised to see Dong Lai walking again. When Dong Lei noticed Zhang Ling chatting with Kiel on the phone, it reminded him of the DNA test results his mother had shown him earlier. But deep down, he didn't want to accept those results. Dong Lai then asked Zhang Ling to help revise some movie scripts. Zhang Ling felt like Dong Lei understood the scripts better than he did. Dong Lai brought up Qi Li's biological father again, but Zhang Ling refused to spill the beans. She told Dong Lei to stop prying into her personal stuff. Dong Lai seemed disappointed by Zhang Ling's distant behavior. In a different place, Dong Lei's mother went to see Kiel in the hospital. She noticed that Kiel reminded her of how Dong Lai looked when he was young. However, the DNA test results said that Kiel wasn't related to Dong Lai, so Dong Lei's mother started treating Kiel more harshly. This really hurt Kiel because Dong Lei's mother said mean things to him. Kiel felt really sad that night and missed his own mom too. At that time, Zhang Ling was trying to catch a taxi so he could reach the hospital and be with Qi Li. The next day, Mu Chen talked about how tough things were for Zhang Ling. She was busy working and taking care of Qi Li, who had been discharged from the hospital. Mu Chen wondered if Dong Lai could help Zhang Ling out by lightening her workload on set so he could still look after Qi Li. Dong Lai seemed worried, but he remembered Zhang Ling's words from the day before when she asked him not to get involved in her life. So he decided to let Zhang Ling take care of Kiel on her own. In a different place, the director suddenly asked Zhang Ling to meet up with him that night. Chu Mo seemed suspicious about this request. When Zhang Ling went to the director's place that evening, the director tried to harass her and gave her sleeping pills to knock her out. Luckily, Chu Mo got there just in time. He tracked down the director's apartment, confronted him, and even though he beat him up, the director threatened to spread a violent video of Chu Mo. Quickly, Chu Mo carried the unconscious Zhang Ling and met Mu Chen downstairs, who helped them take her to the hospital. When Dong Lai got wind of what happened to Zhang Ling from Mu Chen, he rushed to the hospital. He felt really guilty about the terrible incident that had befallen Zhang Ling. Chu Mo looked pretty mad, and he suspected that Dong Lai might have had something to do with it. Dong Lai immediately denied it, saying he could never harm Zhang Ling. Chu Mo asked why Dong Lei had caused trouble for Zhang Ling, just like he did six years ago when he left her. Dong Lei explained that in fact it was Zhang Ling who had left him back then. That night, Dong Lei took care of Zhang Ling, who was still shaken by the earlier incident. In another place, the guy with red hair asked Lin Xia to meet up. He wanted Lin Xia to help him leave the country, and even gave him a bunch of money for survival. He said people were searching for things related to an incident from six years ago. But Lin Kexia turned him down flatly and kicked him out. Lin Kexia figured she didn't need him anymore, especially now that the director was on her side to deal with Zhang Ling. The next day, Zhang Ling woke up feeling really shaken. Chu Mo was there to help calm her down. She asked Chu Mo not to mess with the director because the film's production was more important, not just for Chu Mo, but for the whole crew. On the film set, Man Lai steps in to help Chu Mo deal with the director's rude behavior that's always pushing Chu Mo's buttons. The director intentionally swapped out a prop with hot water, causing Chu Mo to get hurt while filming. Meanwhile, Dong Lai assigns Mu Chen to handle the director and teach him a lesson he won't forget. Later that night, Mu Chen cleverly sets up the director, catching him in the act of ordering services from a call girl. The media and even the police are brought in to apprehend the director. In another place, Chu Mo feels downhearted because he couldn't protect Zhang Ling. He remembers how in the past, despite his difficult life, he managed to take care of Zhang Ling. But now that he's famous and seemingly has everything, he struggles to shield Zhang Ling. The next day, Man Lai visited Zhang Ling in the hospital. She told Zhang Ling that Chu Mo was feeling really guilty because he was the one who introduced the director to Zhang Ling. He felt even worse because he couldn't protect Zhang Ling from that guy. But Zhang Ling was thankful to Chu Mo for coming in time to rescue her. She had always been proud of having a little brother like Chu Mo who cared for her. Manalai mentioned that it seemed like Dong Lei had managed to deal with the director. Meanwhile, Dong Lei was working on calming down the board of directors who were upset about the director's scandal. He firmly refused to clear the director's name just to avoid disrupting the film shoot. 
Dong Lai made it clear that he wouldn't tolerate the director's bad behavior. Afterward, Zhang Ling went to Dong Lei's office to have a chat. They both said sorry and thanked each other. Dong Lai asked Zhang Ling for a chance to start over, because he wanted to protect both Kidal and Zhang Ling. While they were talking, Zhang Ling got a call from Chu Mo, and at the same time, Dong Lai received a call from Yu Chen informing him that they had caught the red-haired man. Zhang Ling then shared the story of what happened six years ago, although Dong Lai was already aware of all the details. Somewhere else, Lin Chia pleaded with Dong Lei's mother to help her apologize to Dong Lai. She admitted that she had told the director to trouble Zhang Ling. Dong Lei's mother was naturally upset and let down, but she managed to forgive Lin Xia quite easily. Meanwhile, Chu Mo and the others gathered to discuss Lin Xia and the red-haired guy. The red-haired man showed up at Dong Lei's office, asking for money and providing evidence of Lin Xia's involvement in the incident from six years ago along with all the bad things that had happened to Zhang Ling since then. All of a sudden, Dong Lai got a call from his mother, asking him to come home for dinner, because Lin Chia was at their house. Upon arriving home, Lin Chia was naturally surprised to find Dong Lai coming back with Zhang Ling. Dong Lai asked his mother to stop defending Lin Xia and recognize the lies she had been telling. Zhang Ling questioned Lin Chia about who had instructed the director to harass her. Lin Xia couldn't avoid it, because the director had confessed that she was the one who told him to do it. Even then, Dong Lei's mother continued to defend Lin Xia, claiming that Lin Xia was blinded by her love for Dong Lei, and that's why she did those things. To make Dong Lei's mother understand, Zhang Ling finally played the recorded evidence of Lin Xia's involvement in the accident from six years ago. Lin Xia couldn't deny the evidence. Zhang Ling stated that Lin Xia's actions weren't minor. She had tried to take someone's life, Dong Lei's mother was deeply disappointed because it turned out that Lin Xiao was the one who had caused her son's paralysis all along. At this point, Dong Lei didn't care about Lin Xia's explanations anymore. All of this left Lin Xia feeling confused and downhearted because nobody believed her anymore. In her distress, she continued to point fingers at Zhang Ling for everything that had unfolded, growing to despise her even more. It escalated to a point where she grabbed a fruit knife from the table, attempting to harm Zhang Ling. In the nick of time, Dong Lai stepped in to shield Zhang Ling, but he ended up getting wounded on his back. Once they got to the hospital, Dong Lai managed to get past the critical phase. Zhang Ling stood vigil by Dong Lei's side, not wanting to leave. Dong Lei's mother offered an apology to Zhang Ling for her poor behavior during this time. She was thankful that Zhang Ling had taken such good care of Dong Lei. As she was leaving Dong Lei's room, she bumped into her doctor friend. The doctor seemed surprised and puzzled asking her about Ki Le's condition. It was then that she learned Ki Le was indeed Dong Lei's child, and the DNA results from before had been secretly tampered with by Lin Xia. Dong Lei's mother asked Mu Chen not to inform Dong Lai right away about Ki Le, wanting to give it some thought before discussing it with him. That night, Zhang Ling looked after Dong Lai as he battled a fever. The next day, after his fever subsided, Dong Lai became delirious, pleading with Zhang Ling not to leave him. Zhang Ling felt really sad and guilty. He assured Dong Lai that he wouldn't leave him like before, promising to stay by his side. Zhang Ling kissed Dong Lai to show that the feelings they shared then and now were still the same. Chu Mo, who was planning to visit Dong Lei, decided to step back, not wanting to disrupt their moment together. In another place, Dong Lei's mother went to Qi Li's school to apologize for her rude behavior earlier. However, it seemed Qi Li still held a grudge against her for the hurtful words she had said, so he didn't want to accept any gifts from her either. Dong Lei's mother felt sad because all she wanted was to be accepted by her biological grandson. In different setting, while feeding Dong Lai, he asks Zhang Ling to accept him. He promises not to create any issues with Kilo, as he now considers Kilo his own son. Zhang Ling plans to reveal the truth to Dong Lai, but she's worried he might get upset because she had previously lied about Kilo not being his child. Just then, Chu Mo and Qi Lu arrive to visit Dong Lai. Qi Lu really misses Dong Lai and brings along a doll as a gift. That evening, Dong Lei's mother waited for Dong Lai to come home. Yet he chose to return to his apartment, staying with Qi Lu and Zhang Ling. Dong Lei's mother still feels sorry for Qi Lu, as she truly wishes to have a close relationship with her biological grandson. Somewhere else, Qi Lu asked to sleep with both his mother and Dong Lei. However, Zhang Ling declined, explaining that Dong Lei needed his own rest. 
After getting Keela settled, Zhang Ling went to Dong Lei's room to check on his wound. As they changed Dong Lei's bandages, their emotions got the best of them, carried away by their feelings for each other. The next day, Dong Lei's mother returned with gifts for Keela, but Keela declined them again. Zhang Ling urged Keela to be kind to Dong Lei's mother. At that moment, Keela tearfully revealed that he thought Dong Lei's mother was mean because she had scolded him when he referred to Dong Lei as his father. Dong Lei's mother apologized to Keela and gave him permission to call Dong Lei father. She invited Keela to come home with her, explaining she had prepared a room filled with toys for him. Zhang Ling appeared concerned and suspected that Dong Lei's mother knew Keela was actually Dong Lei's son. Dong Lai then said goodbye and accompanied his mother home. He reminded Zhang Ling of their plans for Saturday. Dong Lai went to a jewelry store and purchased a pair of rings for himself and Zhang Ling. He had plans to propose to Zhang Ling on Saturday. Upon returning home, Dong Lei's mother disclosed Qi Li's DNA test results. Dong Lai was truly surprised by this revelation. Dong Lei's mother asked him to bring the Han family's grandson to live with them expressing concern that Zhang Ling might continue to keep Kilo away from him. Long story short, when Saturday came around, Zhang Ling was waiting at the restaurant they were supposed to meet at. But hours passed and Dong Lai still hadn't shown up. The restaurant even closed and still no sign of him. Dong Lai purposely avoided meeting Zhang Ling because he felt incredibly let down by all the lies Zhang Ling had told him. Later, Zhang Ling went to Dong Lei's place in the pouring rain. That night, Dong Lei was distant and cold towards Zhang Ling. His disappointment was profound. He had thought of Kilo as not his real son due to the constant deception, and he regretted having Kilo call him uncle when he was truly his biological father. Zhang Ling apologized and kissed a still angry Dong Lei. But despite that, Dong Lei remained disheartened over Zhang Ling's falsehood. Back at home, Dong Lei felt irritated with his mother, who urged him to understand Zhang Ling and apologize. She even granted permission for Dong Lai to marry Zhang Ling, to legitimize Kiel as a member of the Han family. Dong Lai was frustrated because his mother had always encouraged him to distance himself from Zhang Ling. Now she was actually asking him to reconcile and be with Zhang Ling. The following day, Zhang Ling kept attempting to meet and apologize to Dong Lai. However, Dong Lai continued to avoid her. Mu Chen advised Dong Lai, feeling sorry for Zhang Ling, who was persistently trying to reach out. On the subsequent day, Zhang Ling appeared puzzled and sad as she searched for her missing necklace. Kila called Chu Mo, informing him about his mother's state. Zhang Ling was deeply upset about losing the necklace Dong Lei had given her, feeling that she had also disappointed Dong Lai. Chu Mo then found Zhang Ling's necklace in the sofa, relieving Zhang Ling greatly. As she prepared to leave, Zhang Ling bid farewell. Chu Mo took the opportunity to give Dong Lai Zhang Ling's necklace revealing that Zhang Ling was terrified when she lost it. In fact, Zhang Ling had always been afraid of losing Dong Lei. The lies Zhang Ling had told were all to safeguard Kilo and prevent their separation. Chu Mo implored Dong Lei to consider and forgive Zhang Ling. The story then takes us back, recalling the first time Dong Lei ran away from home to experience life alongside Zhang Ling, who became his first love. Returning to the main storyline, Kilo and Zhang Ling are preparing to head back to their hometown. Kilo is actually hesitant to leave, missing Dong Lai dearly. As they board the plane and store their luggage, Zhang Ling is shocked to find Dong Lai on the same flight. Dong Lai has decided to start anew. Kilo is overjoyed because from now on, she can call him father. The story wraps up with a heartwarming moment. Dong Lai proposes to Zhang Ling in front of the entire film crew. The moral lesson from this story is that honesty and forgiveness play a crucial role in building and nurturing healthy relationships.